Good morning, Life Church. Today we're looking at Acts 9 verses 36 to 43. Um, and this is a story all about Dorcas and how she uh, is sick and dies and is then raised back to life by Peter. Um, and the things we know about Dorcas is she was a disciple, she was a woman, um, and she was probably a woman of some means because she spent her time helping the poor, so she must have had the means to do that. Um, and that she was also a practical person. She was a seamstress, she could make clothing, and that's what she used to do in her bid to help the poor. Um, and we also know that she did that really well because the widows uh, were very keen to show Peter examples of her work when he arrived in Joppa, and they wouldn't have done that unless they were worth showing. Um, and I guess uh, there are some things that I find really encouraging out of this passage. Obviously, Dorcas would have been completely unknown uh, to us if it wasn't for the fact that she's the kind of the focus the subject of this um, amazing miracle. Um, but Dorcas is an ordinary woman doing ordinary things for other ordinary people. And I find that really encouraging because her life obviously counted and she obviously made an impact. And verse 36 talks about, uh, in older versions, talks about her uh, being full of good deeds. And I love that idea that she's expressing outwardly what she's full of. And I guess it caused me to think, what am I full of today? Um, some people are full of energy, other people are full of faith. Dorcas was full of good deeds and her life was significant because of it. Uh, some of us with more practical giftings can uh, imagine that we're not as significant as uh, others in the kingdom who seem to have very spiritual, super spiritual giftings. Um, but that's not the case. And Dorcas is living evidence of this. So what are you full of today? And how are you going to uh, impact others with your gifting?